Hello there, this is Andres from the Computers, here today giving you a review and a demo of a really nice app which I have found. It's called Full Control. Basically this app will help you out whenever you need to control your Mac and you just cannot be right next to it. Uh, perhaps you cannot be touching it, maybe you don't have a keyboard and mouse connected to it. Basically Full Control is an app that runs on your iOS device, so an iPhone, iPod, iPad, and you can control your Mac. Um, today I'll be reviewing a paid version. It's quite cheap, it's 259 here in New Zealand, 199 in the States. However, if you want to just test it out before you buy it, there is a light version that you can get as well. So let's just get on to reviewing it. Alright, so providing that you have the helper tool running on your Mac, you can get the helper tool from the website, again, the links will be in the description. Um, providing that you have that running on your Mac, the iPhone or iPod, iPad, whatever it is, it's on the same network as the computer then your computer should show up on the list so if we click on that there that will start the communication, it will connect to it you see it's quite fast um, now you're met with this interface which is a bit different from most of the other control applications because most of them give you like a trackpad and a keyboard and that's about it this here is really cool because it gives you shortcuts and it helps you on your usage so Basically, we'll just start off with something that you can do here, which is quite cool, which is finding files. So we'll go into our home. So that's our home directory. Uh, let's find a file on my desktop. Uh, and let's see, I don't know, that, fo that photo there. So we'll go open. That will automatically launch preview, and it will bring me up the photo. Now let's say I want to just, you know, I want to use the program a little bit more. Just having the photo there is not enough. So we'll just go down here. Now down here it shows us all the apps we have running. This isn't really a doc, it's just the apps we've got running at the moment. So if we go down there and we choose preview. Now you see I've got a few options here, things that I can do. Uh, these options I've had, I've added them in there. They don't come by default, you just add the options you want. So for example, let's say I want to view this in full screen. So there we go, it starts up in full screen. As simple as that. Now exit full screen, you can go out and it will go out of full screen. Now, the way to add these buttons is you go into Tools, Edit Preview, and you see I've got the buttons listed down here. What I'll do is just, just for a demonstration, um, we'll go into Online Commands. These here are commands that people have made and have shared online so that you can, you know, so the more people can use it. Now, the advantage of the light version is that you can use these online commands. You cannot create new commands, but you can use the online ones. So it still allows you to do quite a few things. So for example, let's just add this command, next. And we'll go add. And after doing that, that's edit. You see there's a tick beside it. We'll go back and we'll end. If we click tools again, there, we've go, there we go, we've got the next button there. Now the other thing as well, you see I've got this exit full screen button. I don't know if you've noticed, but if we go here on online commands, that button isn't there. So what I did is I actually created that shortcut. So what you do is you go edit, add, keyboard command. And what you do is here's you choose the modifier keys. So choose the modifier keys here. And then you choose the letter that's, that is pressed. Put the name of the command. You can choose images for your commands. And once you've got that, it creates this new command. So that's exactly what I've done with um, the exit full screen button. Okay, so that shows a, a few cool things. Now something else here. This I've used before. This I use it in class. It was quite helpful in presentations. Uh, it shows down here all the apps that you have running. So for example, just go into Keynote. You see at the moment I don't have any buttons, so we'll just go and add them. So that, show, that has everything there. So we'll go end, because we've got all the buttons now. Now, okay, if I press play, automatically brings up my speech. This is uh, a PowerPoint ahead with my speech there. Now um, I can just go through the slides, and we'll just go through them like that. Um, once I reach the end, it automatically leaves the um, the keynote. Now, um, it, it's quite helpful and works quite well. Now, let's just say, you see, now here I don't have the quit button. You can go and add it in, but let's say you just cannot be bothered adding it in. There are a few other cool things that you can do with this app. You go on Tools, and you go uh, Trackpad. So, you see, now you've got a trackpad that you can actually control your Mac with. And if we go down, we also have a keyboard. 
So providing you, you put it in a place to, to type, the keyboard will work there. And you also have a numeric keyboard. So as we know on the Macs, they don't have a numeric keyboard. Now this here is quite helpful, you know, if you're entering data on a spreadsheet, a numeric keyboard is always quite handy. So that's a cool thing to have as well. And a few other cool things they have. You've got volume control. Uh, you've got this here, which you click on it, and it will give you a screenshot of the page at that moment, at the moment you click the button. Uh, so it is quite cool. And as you can see, it has quite a few cool features. Uh, also, you know, you've got the dock. So we'll click on tools again. This here shows me everything I have on my dock. So you know, you could can go and find it on the applications folder, but usually in your applications folder, you just have so many things. They are not the things you're going to be launching. So on the application, uh, on the dock, you'll be able to find the stuff that you usually use. Uh, and if we go back to computer, you can set your computer to sleep, shut down, restart. And like I said, since you can add shortcuts, you can make it do so many other things. Okay. So this concludes my review of the app Full Control. Um, now, just a few things about this app. It is only available for Macs. Uh, so you cannot control your PC with this. Unfortunately, it's only on Macs. This also only runs on iOS devices. So it doesn't run on Android either. Now um, I have all the links for for all the downloads on the description, so you can find the links for the iOS apps. You can also find the link for the helper tool, which you need to be running on your Mac in order to make this whole app function. Just recapping, uh, it's two fifty nine here in New Zealand, one ninety nine in the states. So it is quite a cheap price. Also, like I said, there is a light version, which is free. If you want me to give a review of that, like I said, it has a few functionalities missing. If you want me to show, show you how it works, then just comment and say that you want that, and I can make that video happen for you. Now, if you like this kind of videos, please comment, like, and subscribe to this video. Um, and subscribe to my channel. It would be awesome to have you here. Thank you for watching.